people hope you're doing well as per usual for those of you who don't know my name is Naja and I'm a main airline flight attendant Woo! <laughs> Share that of love. I wanna I'm coming on the camera today bare faced because I don't feel like doing makeup but <laughs> We have airport standby today. Well, I have airport standby. So I thought I'd show you guys how I prepare for airport standby. Now, if you haven't seen my video where I talked about what's it like being on reserve and the two type of like on-call things you can do as a flight attendant, which is at home reserve or, did I say that right? Yeah, at home reserve or airport standby, please watch it. I'll link it up above so you guys can see it. Check it out so you know what I'm talking about when I say I'm on airport standby. It just means I have to be at the airport for six hours and they have within those six hours to call me to use me for a flight. Now today my standby shift is from 6.18 p.m. to 12.18 a.m. So we gon' sleep. We gonna see. I wanted to pack with you guys and show you guys how it is I pack because I told you guys in that other video when you're on airport standby you have absolutely no idea where you could be going. You have to pack for all the seasons. I told y'all this. Um, so I was already packed because it wasn't on my schedule to be on airport standby and then last night it changed to airport standby so I said oh okay so I actually have to repack add a few more pieces but I thought you know this is a great opportunity to make a video and show you guys more in depth how I pack for it how I fit a lot of things in a little suitcase but I got y'all so let's mm, 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 mm. Do it. So I wanted to start off by showing you the space I have for my luggage. So this is it. This is my space. This is my carry-on bag. That is it. Well, not my carry-on bag. Carry-on luggage. Already, I always have my uniform in here. I don't even take it out because it's an extra uniform in case I spill during service or a rip happens or something happens. Makeup drops on me. I always have a spare uniform. And then also an extra pair of tights as well. But I gotta put that in there. I then also have this space right here. Right now I have my lint roller in here. This I just got the thing for my phone, like a ring light type of thing. And then I have a small, oh, let me get it. Oof. Sample size of a perfume just cuz like I use Coco Chanel blue blau however you pronounce it But it's full size and like I'm like I swear if that thing breaks or something I would freaking cry So this is everything that I'm gonna pack I'm gonna pull it out one by one and show you guys what it is It might look random, but it makes sense. So let's get this started first thing first I always make sure I have a bathing suit because like I said, you never know where you're going I could end up in Puerto Rico for all I know. So I'm gonna go with the one piece today, but it's a cutout one piece, a cover up as well. This is just something simple to throw on over my bathing suit, but it's also really thin, so it won't take up space in my luggage. Next, I have a gym outfit. I am a gym guru, I am a fitness guru. I always work out, so I have my sports bra and I have a pair of workout shorts. So these two things, thin, they don't take up a lot of space in my luggage. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I don't know how y'all sleep, but I surely sleep with clothes on. I don't do the whole naked sleeping thing. That's not me. If I did, guess what? That would be one less thing I had to put in my suitcase. But I don't, and I highly dislike hotels anyway, so I like to be, you know, as covered as can be because I get the like, ugh, the, the heebie jeebies. Here's my PJs. I'm gonna go with my fuzzy monkey pants. They're so freaking cute. And then I have my minion shirt. Now, if you don't know me, I am a freaking minion fanatic. And now let's get into the outfit. So I have my pajamas, I have bathing suit stuff, I have workout stuff, I have an extra uniform just in case. So now let's get to, if I have a layover, what am I gonna wear? So here's my first hot weather outfit. It's just this dress. I like this dress, it's nice and long. When you are packing, you have to think about things that, like I said, don't take up much space or don't put much effort. So something like a dress or a romper, is like quick and easy and it's thin so it won't take up a lot of space in your luggage if it is cold out I need to have like a sweater or something a little heavier so I have this cropped sweater this sweater tends to get linty because it has like um fleece and all that stuff but that's why I have a lint roll what am I gonna wear on my bottom okay I have a sweater but I need bottoms so I have these jeans I just bought these jeans from Shein I'm obsessed you guys the patterns 
the bagginess it's like the perfect amount of baggy and I'm short so it's a little long on me but with the right footwear it'll be fine and they fit perfectly at my waist so I have these jeans right and one thing I was thinking about I was like okay well how can I pack so that I don't have to bring multiple bottoms so what you want to do is pick one pair of pants that you can wear with multiple things so I have these jeans so if it's cold out I'll pair it with this black sweater right what if it's not cold out? What if it's just a little chilly, but not really chilly? I can still do that, or I can just wear this with a shirt. So I have this white shirt, and that's where this blazer comes in. I love this blazer because you can dress it up or dress it down. This is also from Shein. Uh, actually, this top is from Shein, and that sweater was from Shein as well. I'm just a Shein fanatic. It's not super thick, so it also doesn't take up a lot of space. And I can just wear it with this, and then this call it a day this the sweater that's our cold weather outfit and so what about if it's really nice out and I don't want to wear the dress let's say I want to go with something else well I have this little bralette thing that is so freaking cute I wore it the other day and I was like obsessed with it this with these jeans with this blazer now if it's hot out I won't wear the blazer but like, it's such a freaking vibe. So bam, one pair of pants and I have three outfits that I can wear with it. Another thing for me, head tie. The headscarf or the bonnet, it needs to happen. Now other essentials for me, pillowcase and towel. And I'm gonna tell you why. Yes, hotels have pillowcases, obviously. Yes, they have towels. However, I have not been having the best of luck with my hotel rooms. So, if you haven't seen my Guyana vlog, home and watch it because I talked about what happened in my room. Bam, sneakers. So I'm bringing my Converse, my platform Converse. They go with all my outfit choices that I would pick and I can also wear them to the gym, so it's like a two for one special. See, if I wear the dress on my layover, I can just wear the flip flops that I have packed, and my flip flops are for several purposes. They are my shower shoes, they are my walk around the hotel room shoes, but if I needed to wear them out, I would. Uh, also, if I go to the pool, I would wear those shoes. They're already in their pouches, I'm not gonna take them fully out. But this one, I just have my skincare stuff, so I have my face wash, I have body wash, I have my exfoliator, my mini toothpaste in here, and this bag always stays packed. The only thing I ever take out of here would be this, but after I use it, I pop it right back in, and I'm talking about when I'm just home. I usually just have a set for my work stuff and then I have a set for home. And in this one, it wasn't in this one originally in this package. This has never left the bag that it goes to but I was like you know what it's bigger so it can work and this is where I have my makeup now when I fly I usually don't wear makeup because I tend to get very oily when I fly on my layovers and since I do want to look a little nice so well I always look nice correction I always look nice but <laughs> sometimes I want to spice it up just a little bit more. I also already put stuff in that pouch. I have my shower cap. I have t a pack of tissues. I keep one in my suitcase and keep one uh, in my bag. And then <laughs> I have cream for if I break out. I have my sunscreen. I have my moisturizer. So I'm going to wait until I go on a trip that's like a three day or four day to show you guys a like really in-depth video of how I pack my food. But I just want to show you a quick glimpse of what I'll bring today. So this is my lunchbox. <laughs> Bought it off of Amazon. It was like 30 bucks. I don't know the brand. Oh, in my ER. Mirror. I love this lunchbox because it is, looks like it's a good size. It's not too big, not too small. It has lots of compartments. Like it has this in here, has this, and then it has this one. There's also a little back thingy thing. I don't put anything in here, but there's a little back pocket if need be. I always keep Motrin Tums because I do get heartburn. Here's my other pack of tissues. Always keep, I keep another bag in my lunchbox as well. In my little Ziploc baggie, I have a plastic fork, plastic spoon, and then I have my bamboo straw because it's reusable and then the cleaning thingy thingy. So after I use it, I can clean it out. The inside of the bag is insulated. So inside, I have fruit cocktail. I have these sweet barbecue rice chips. Now, this, I try not to eat it, but I keep it in my lunchbox always just in case. But these are not the healthiest of things. But I just have it in case I run out of food and I have nothing else, I will eat this. Then I have my big ZD. It's about to go right back in the refrigerator, but I just want to show you. So it would also go in here. I cooked big ZD last night and you can't see it. 
And then I have a Celsius because since I'm going in tonight, there's a chance that I could be working a red eye. Red eyes are the hardest things ever for me to work because I'm not a night owl and I struggle on them. I always get through them, I power through them, but I struggle. So I have a Celsius for that reason, just in case. Now what you don't see here that I have to get because I talked about the store is drinks. Water, I don't, it's like not a big thing because we have water on the plane. We also have like juice and stuff on the plane, but like, I'm, I'm I don't want that. So I have my own drinks. So I, I go to the store and I'll buy like iced tea or lemonade. And then in this little pocket, I just have sanitizing wipes for my hands. Because today is Saturday and I'm only, my reserve block ends on Monday. If they did use me, it'll be like either I'm coming back late tonight or I'm coming back tomorrow or I'm coming back at some point on Monday. So this would be enough food for me. I'm gonna eat a lot before I go tonight. So I really won't have to touch food again tonight. If anything, just have a little snack. I don't think I would be hungry enough to eat a full meal or have a few bites of my big ZD and call it a day. So thank you guys as always for tuning in and watching this video. Hopefully you have a little bit more insight of how, you know, how airport standby works and how <laughs> I, you know, get creative in my packing. It's always exciting, you guys. It's really exciting just never knowing where you're gonna end up. It's it's really fun. I think that's probably gonna be the only thing I miss of when I'm not when I'm no longer on reserve is just like that excitement about oh my god, where am I gonna be? But besides that, I'm gonna be totally fine knowing where I'm going in advance because it's just whew, it's gonna be a game changer, life changer. Super excited <laughs> for that. It is currently 12 29 so i still have a bit more time i'm not gonna leave until about like 4 15 ish because i'm gonna get there early since it will be my first time driving to work i just want to make sure everything goes smoothly so i'm just gonna chill out for the next few hours get a little bit of a workout in and yeah that's it if you guys want more flight attendant content and it could be about anything not just my layovers let me know if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all these fun videos and if you are thank you so much i appreciate you guys give this video a thumbs up comment down below let me know any and every idea you have that you would want to see from me flight attendant related or not i don't care just put it down there because i love talking to you guys in the comments as per usual and i'll see you guys in the next video